So next what I'd like to do is tell you about how we're trying to circumvent this problem of measuring behavior, and that is not by measuring the behavior itself, but by measuring the product of behavior. And this um, harkens back to um, what uh, Richard Dawkins referred to as the extended phenotype in a book that he published in 1982. And he defined, well we tend to think of, of phenotypes as traits sort of within our own skin or within the skin of an organism. Um, in fact, we can think of phenotypes extended outwards. Um, for example, animal artifacts that can be treated like any other phenotypic product whose variation is influenced by a gene. So, for example, if a behavior results in the production of an artifact and that behavior is controlled by genes, we can treat that artifact just like we would any other morphological trait. So let me illustrate this by giving you two examples of extended phenotypes. So the first example um, that I'm showing you here is the Australian bower bird in which the males um, build these very elegant bowers. And the bowers tend to be very similar within uh, a species. So this particular species builds a bower by putting reeds together that make this sort of U shape. And then he decorates it with these blue um, artifacts that he finds um, in, the, in the area. And then he'll walk back and forth and this um, ritual will attract a female. But the shape of the bower uh, differs dramatically between species. And what this um, serves to illustrate is that this bower is produced by a particular species specific behavior and the output of it is this um, bower that we can measure just like we would measure let's say the length of a limb or another morphological trait. Another example is the nest that swallows build. Again they're very stereotyped in the type of uh, material that's used where they're um, built in the shape of the nest that tends to be very similar within a species but differs between species. And again, we could treat this like any other morphological trait and try to understand the genes that um, produce the behavior that in turn produce the artifact.